Hey guys, in this quick tip video, I want to show you how to uninstall software that doesn't seem to uninstall when you use the built-in Windows installation slash uninstallation options. Typically, the software that won't uninstall in those cases are malware, adware, that kind of stuff. So this is something recently I've had help a few friends with, and I thought the video would be helpful because they didn't seem to understand this, these additional methods. So I'm going to go over these kind of quickly, but hopefully you'll find that they help you. So if you go into the installed apps, you can see all the apps that are installed. And, you know, normal ones, they have options. You know, you can click on them and say that you want to uninstall it. Well, unfortunately, a lot of people get like adware added to their computer through their browser or something. So one of the ways to get rid of that is through the task manager. So in Windows 10 or 11, you can right click on your desktop and choose task manager. That's right there. And what you see are all the applications that are currently running on your computer. If you don't see it looking like this, you can kind of go over and add additional um, views. You can add things, expand things, play with it. It's actually quite helpful. And what you see are all the applications that are running on my machine right now. Well, let's expand this back out again. Now, let's see. Yes, that's what we want. I want to see this menu so that you can see it. So these are actually running on my machine right now. Now notice here we have startup apps and we have services. So what is the difference? What are they? Startup apps are applications that when you log in to your Windows account, these are applications that are automatically kicked off. And sometimes there's things in there you don't want kicked off. In fact, that area can get um, quite congested and you can end up slowing your computer down with all sorts of crap that kicks off inside there that you're not even aware of. We'll look at that in a second. You also have services. These typically, they were called NT services. They're Windows services. They are custom uh, written applications um, that are written using a services API that do things in the background when your computer boots. So these are services that are constantly running in the background. And if we look at those, you'll see all sorts of fairly complicated looking things. You can see uh, a lot of it has to do with drivers. Some of it has to do with like the Microsoft Cloud. You can see them listed here. Defragment service. You can see what's stopped and what's running. Typically, I suggest you don't mess with these unless you know what you're doing, but you can certainly go and look them up. And in fact, sometimes this is where you have to go to remove things that you don't want running. Just be careful, do a search on the name and find out uh, first what it is because there's a lot of things in here that help your machine actually work. Okay, so the real area I want you to look in is your startup apps. After you've logged in and you click Task Manager and choose these startup apps, you will see things that are enabled and disabled. Now I've gone through and disabled a lot of these to make my machine faster. Typically these startup apps are not as important as the services. Um, you can typically turn them off and not have any dire consequences that would keep you from going back in and turning it back on if, if you realize that it was providing some uh, functionality that you needed. For example, I use Dropbox. So Dropbox is actually enabled it has a high startup time, meaning that it starts before certain other uh, tasks pro uh, start up in the startup menu. Um, but at the same time, here's one that I turned off, jusketch.exe. This is an updater, and there's a lot of it, by the way, um, meaning that a lot of software that you install installs updaters in here so that they can notify you when there's a new version of something. This one tells me when there's a new version of the JavaScript, or I'm sorry, the Java JRE, uh, the runtime environment for Java, not JavaScript. 
Um, I turned it off because I don't really want to be notified of that. I'll figure it out when I need to. So if we look through here, I actually don't have very many things running. I've disabled a lot of them. Steam for game playing. I don't want that starting every time my computer starts. It'll start instead when I want to start a game. Uh, I don't use OneDrive currently. I don't need to auto start MS Edge. I, I use Chrome a lot. And you can see there's a list of things in here and I've turned a lot of them off, leaving certain things like security, health, SysTray running. So again, this video is really to help my friends who did not even realize this was an option to be able to go in and turn off things that they didn't want running. So hopefully it does the same for you. One of the neat things about this, besides um, being able to see the name of what it is, if you don't quite know what it is, like let's look at this one down here. I do know what this is. But if I right click on it and choose open file location, I can see that this is tight VNC. It takes me to the directory. Let's look at that again. Let's look at another one. Let's look at this very vague update starter startup utility.exe. Who is that from? So let's click open file location and we find out it's from Adobe. It's one of their applications, probably looking at my Adobe software to see if there's any updates available for it. So I turned that one off. And as you turn these things off, you'll find that most cases, your computer is going to be running a little bit faster. But let me give you an example. MS Edge. I'm assuming this starts up really to, to preload a lot of the um, Microsoft Edge, which is their browser, uh, DLLs. DLLs are like libraries that are used by software to do additional things. I mean, we don't need to go into that. Um, you can write DLLs for your own software, etc. The, the point is, is that this is probably starting up so that it starts faster for you. If it didn't preload the DLLs the first time you go to run, the Edge browser, it has to load them. So it makes it appear, it makes it faster, not just appear faster, it makes it faster because it has preloaded the DLLs for you. But those also took memory. So I turned it off. So anyway, this is one of those methods that you can use to go through and you might see something that you don't actually want started on your computer and it could be adware. You can right click on it to see what directory it's in. That might give you enough information to decide to turn it off. If you have odd behavior after turning it off, turn it back on again. What might also help is that you can then remove it. That's what I did for a friend of mine. I found that there was a startup app that was adware. I was able to find out where it was coming from. It was not in the installed application list. So I could not uninstall it that way. But in fact, I was able to delete the entire directory, remove it from the startup, and hence his computer was no longer popping up all these stupid ads. So anyway, I hope that this helps you. It's a quick tip. Learn about the task manager. Uh, also, if you can't solve your problem that way, you might look into the services. But just be aware that there's a lot of services in here that are important to the working functionality of your computer and you don't just want to go and turn something off like the Bluetooth support or something like that. Why? Because then you wouldn't have Bluetooth support. These are the drivers in some cases. Um, auxiliary functions for the drivers I should really say. Drivers are someplace else. But these are helpful. They probably provide you with a UI of some sort to use the Bluetooth interface or whatever else it might be. I saw something like clipboard, user interface. There you go, Ser user services for the clipboard. So I hope this has been helpful for you. I hope you can get rid of some of your, uh, your adware with this. All right, guys, take care.